Are you ready to turn your opinions into cash? Join the Surveyo community today and start earning money by completing our paid surveys. Joining is easy. Just click the link in the video description to sign up and become part of our growing community. A worker was left stunned when he realized the land he owned had been suddenly put up for sale. Brian Beneski, of Maine, was the victim of deed fraud, a plight that realtors have described as a nightmare. He and his wife bought a 50-acre plot of land in 2021 but it was unexpectedly put on the market over the Memorial Day weekend, per the Bangor Daily News. It appeared a drone had been used to take pictures and these had been uploaded to an online advert. We thought the company we bought it from made a mistake or something, the state worker said. The couple spotted the land had been put up for sale thanks to a notification. He and his wife scrambled to get the advert taken down and managed to do this within 24 hours. And they didn't lose any money thanks to their swift reaction. Vineski reported the suspected deed fraud to county cops and lodged a complaint with the state attorney general. I called the sheriff and they were like, this is probably somebody from out of the country, he told the Bangor Daily News. The company that accidentally put the property on the market has since spoken out. It was just a nightmare, Kathy Duffy, of the real estate company Progressive Realty, said. She stressed that the company did its checks before listing the land. Last month, FBI agents warned deed fraud is happening across the U.S. at an alarming rate. What's different about this type of fraud, comparing it to others, like romance scams? The criminals know the process for selling a home or land here in the United States, Joe Sullivan, a special agent in New Jersey, said. Attorneys have warned fraud is on the rise because scammers can use technology to fake relevant documents. Deed fraud is a general term used to categorize any for of fraud used to commandeer someone's home illicitly through seemingly legal methods. Some forms of this fraud are committed in typical grifter fashion, through smooth-talking scammers targeting down-on-their-luck targets, sometimes promising loan forgiveness or mortgage refinancing. Other times, as with many quit-claim deed fraud schemes, the scammers forge the paperwork to show they own a person's home without the true owner ever knowing. David Fleck, a South Carolinian real estate lawyer, said that technological advancements have allowed more sophisticated fraudsters to make quit deed scams commonplace. 25 years ago, it wasn't easy to forge documents. Now, literally, every computer has the technology to create a believable forgery, and you can buy a fake notary stamp online, he told Realtor.com. So the technology has very quickly gotten ahead of the systems we have in place to prevent this, warns Fleck. In any form of deed fraud, the victim seldom knows about the scam until long down the line when they try to apply for a loan or need paperwork on the home and it turns out they no longer are the owners. Then, the only way back to homeownership is a potentially emotionally draining and lengthy legal battle. The technology has very quickly gotten ahead of the systems we have in place to prevent this, David Fleck a South California real estate fraud attorney, told Realtor. Law enforcement said scammers are good at faking their identities. Joe Cardosi, also a special agent, revealed fraudsters read up on the property, meaning they can answer questions about it. The FBI has recommended landowners set up online search alerts for their property. Property owners should regularly check their land to ensure there isn't anything suspicious. Fleck recommended Americans should take out a homeowner's policy of title insurance. He revealed this policy is offered by insurance giants. 